Living Proof and Power Source, I want to welcome you to TRS Live's newest show called Baker's Kitchen. And I'm so excited about today's show because today I'm going to teach you all how to cook pizza from scratch. So first you want to pick the right dough. This is dough uh, straight from Italy. It's honey oat, so it's going to add a little bit of sweetness. So what you're going to do, you're going to toss it up in the air. And once you toss it up and you spin it and you get that air underneath to make it fluffy, you're all set to go. Then you're gonna knead it a little bit after that. What you're gonna do is you're gonna add the toppings. This is the most important part. So I like miniature oranges. I'm just gonna chuck it on here. Wow, that looks awesome. The presentation's important. So you're gonna to wanna to just evenly distribute it out. And then what I like to do is add a little spice, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and that's just gonna spice it up. It's gonna give it a little bit of more of that, that flavor that we want. After vegetables, the most important part of, a, of, of the pizza because it's gonna keep you healthy. So make sure you, you, uh, you, you pick the, the healthiest vegetable. I love this vegetable, it tastes great. It also looks great on the pizza. Wow, would you look at this, get a close up of this pizza here. Oh wow, look at that presentation. Look how that's exactly what you want in a pizza. After this, after you got your toppings, after you kneaded it, after you fluffed it, you fluff the dough, what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna put it in the oven. And I got the oven, the TR85 uh, oven here. This is a professional oven. Most people don't have this in their home, but I do because I love cooking pizza. You're gonna place it in there and then you're gonna set it. You're gonna set it on a thousand degrees and that's just going to get a really nice even cook throughout the pizza and i'll check back in with you guys when this is this is all done eight hours later all right guys the pizza is done and i'm so excited uh to take the pizza out what you're going to want to do is grab a oven mitt and something to put the pizza on and i got the perfect thing right here this is my trusty pizza box take her out of the oven er. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over, you're gonna, and you're gonna come in, oh wow. Wow, this pizza looks, looks fantastic. You're gonna take it out, you're gonna, boom. Just like that, put it on your trusty pizza box, um, get her, er, and uh, man, just look at this. This is, you see the, you see the greenery put on there, you see the, uh, the red, that's the miniature oranges, and this is just fabulous. This is gonna taste amazing. Make sure when you're making a pizza, you follow every instruction that I gave you to get a result like this. And all that's left now is to eat and enjoy it. Catch you guys next week. Right, so I got my ice cream in here. Chocolate syrup, that won't come out. Ah, there we go. Sprinkles. Alexa, sing me happy birthday. Okay, let's do this. One, two, three. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Oh, she's still singing. Ah, what a great birthday all by myself, me and Alexa. Good Yay! evening! What's up, everybody? How are you all doing this evening? Welcome to TR Students Live! Live. <laughs> yeah! So, <laughs> hopefully you guys have been having a great week so far. Thank you all so much for tuning in again. This is the sixth week? Fifth, maybe? Fifth week? 
It all blends. One, two, three, four. This is the fifth week. I don't know how to count. Week, yeah. <laughs> fifth week of our TR students live. That's how you know we're live, because I, I can't even count. We're live. Yeah. We're live, 100%. Uh, hey, make sure you're following us on all of our social media, whether it's our Power Source VA Instagram or Living Proof VA Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit that sub button, bell button. Let us know that you're watching us. Tag us in anything that you got going on, yeah. anything at all. Like anything. just anything. If you're doing cool, funny stuff, we just want to see. We want to stay connected with you all. Absolutely. So for the past two weeks, I have been quarantined, just like you guys are, and I have been uh, moderating in the chat, helping in the chat. So I see you guys blow up the chat. It's awesome talking to you. I got the chat up here right now. What's up, Isaiah? What's up? Grace, Norman, how y'all doing? Excited to be here tonight. But we're gonna run again the hashtag TR Live. TRS the Live. The TRS Live. Did I miss it up too? Dude, you've been I'm gone. sorry, Josh, it's harder than it You've been gone too long. I've been gone too long. The quarantine brain's going. It is hashtag TRS Live. And at the end of the show, we're gonna be doing the prize for the winner. So make sure in the chat, you're dropping the hashtag TRS Live. That's right. And yesterday, if you've already been following us, on our social media, you saw that we put up a post where you could win pizza, you and your friend. If you tag your friend, you would get pizza, pizza delivered to you. So you already have those winners. We're gonna throw those names up yes. right now. So those names are C.S. DeRozier, and I believe that was- That's Kaylee. Kaylee yes. DeRozier. Congrats. And Who's the her friend? friend, Janae, Janae. .harf. .harf. Dot .harf. Congratulations. Woo. Check your front door. You might've already got the pizza before yeah. we started the stream. But check your front door because we did the contact list uh, delivery, so they would just like leave it like at your doorstep. <laughs> so hopefully you didn't have dinner yet, and you're gonna have like a nice cheese pizza or pepperoni or anchovies. Watch the stream with. You probably yeah, and you can watch the stream while eating pizza. Yes, congratulations, Kaylee and uh, Janae as well. So speaking of all of our Instagram stuff we've been doing. Um, last week, we had an Instagram see something, do something challenge. And so last week, our man Ethan won. We put up the three top videos of the skill shots or just something skillful you did. And he did the uh, five, the die, and he did the cup like this. And you pick all of them up in a row, and then it's just stacks. Stack it's like boom, stack. It's like magic. Um, so you guys voted, and he won last week, so congratulations to him. But this week, we're going to put out another challenge for you. And this is the See Something, Do Something Chain Reaction Challenge. And we train actually, reaction? Tr uh, chain. Chain. Not train. Not train. Maybe next week it will be trains. Maybe. <laughs> if you guys want to see trains, drop it in the chat. But um, our man Landon actually did an awesome chain reaction to give you guys an example of what you can do this week. So check this video out. was awesome. Thank you, Landon. That was, uh, he said he did that all on his own. He just thought of it, so he's a genius. So we know there's a lot of geniuses out there, so make sure that you send us, DM us, your chain reaction videos, and next week we'll go over them, pick the top three again, you guys will vote on which ones are the best. So get those brains working and get like all the crazy stuff going. That was, that was super right. cool. That was we cool. That it. was actually the first time I'd seen that video. It was just now. Yeah, so, and it was hype. Good job, it. Landon, good job <laughs> with that one. Speaking of chain reaction, Ooh. Last week, we started a challenge, a new little giveaway challenge we have. It's called the Emoji Race. And how Emoji this worked race. was we showed different emojis all throughout the stream, and you had to kind of decipher mm -hmm. what it was these emojis were trying to say, whatever statement or phrase they were trying to yeah. say. And uh, so last week, we did three emojis. This week, we're actually going to be doing four. Boom. And so how this works is we're going to show four emojis all during the stream. So it could be like all four right now, or it could be just little ones throughout. Who knows? You've got to decipher. Uh oh, I see a blue oh. fish. There's our first one. There's our first one. It's a blue fish. Blue fish. On a, on a fishing on a pole. Hook in real fishing on pole, yeah. Hooked. So blue. that's our first emoji. <laughs> that's our first one. There's, so there's three more throughout the stream randomly. Three more yes. that you're going to want to look out for. The first student that is able to decipher what the emojis are trying to say and put it in the chat will win. And all of our prizes tonight, we're doing it different. Ooh, we have a spicy. prize wheel that we're going to throw up for you all at the end. So anyone that wins, we're going to throw up the prize wheel and you're going to see which prize you get. And there's going to be a ton of different things that you can win, awesome stuff on there as well. 
Absolutely. So, so Tanner. Yes. Since you're back. Yes, I'm back. Uh, like two weeks ago, we did a, uh, a top five. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. yeah. I remember that. That was top cool. Top five. Yeah, you were cool. watching. Yeah. And so since you're back and we wanted mm -hmm. to double the fun. Double trouble. We decided to do a top ten. Top ten. That's <laughs> twice as many fives. That's right. We doubled it. <laughs> we doubled we it. doubled it. <laughs> the top ten. Okay. Things Sick. that you didn't think you would ever say in the year 2020. Okay, you there's, know, there's a lot. Obviously, you know, you've been quarantined. Yeah. It's been a crazy month. And, you know, as of right now, we have, like, about a, almost a month more of this. Who knows what yeah. uh, the government decides. But uh, there's a lot of sayings and phrases that we've been saying a lot recently that we just never thought we would say in yeah, 2020. Sure. So Definitely. we'll kick it off with the first one. You yes. have it. At number the 10. bottom of our list, number 10 is, but no, seriously, what day is it? Because... Every day feels like the same day. So you're like, uh, mom, what, what day is today? <laughs> What's the day today? Is this Monday, Tuesday? Is it, it's just all a day, it just blends together. It's just like this gray kind of blur. <laughs> it feels like 30 yeah. days has been the same extended day. <laughs> yes. So you say, uh, seriously, what day is it today? Yeah, what day is it? I never is thought it, I'd say that. I never Tuesday, thought I'd say right? that ever. I'm pretty sure it's Tuesday. No, it's Monday. Oh, uh, you're right, Monday. Today's yeah. Monday. All right, number nine, and number nine things you didn't think you would say in 2020 is I'd give my left arm for a roll of double-ply toilet paper. So I know in 2020, I think we've all been taking toilet paper for granted, at least we have yeah. been up until now. It was always in stock, and always. Always. Now it's never in stock. So I'd give my left arm for a roll of double-ply toilet paper. Maybe even the single-ply toilet paper. I'd take hey, anything maybe. right now. <laughs> if that. Coming in at number eight is... I think I'm watching TV too much. Mm. That's something I didn't think I would say in 2020 or okay. ever in my life really, uh, is that I'm watching too much TV. I feel like I've started series after series and then finished them and finished them faster than I thought and it's only been like the first month. And so I'm like, uh, maybe I should go outside or you know, see it, what the weather's actually like because I don't know because I'm in my basement watching Netflix or something for <laughs> this whole quarantine. So something I never thought I'd say in 2020 is, I think I'm watching way too much TV. That's right. Now our number seven here is, oh, look, a squirrel. Maybe we can be friends. No, but seriously, during this time, it's been hard to kind of hang out with your friends and your buddies. And so you go outside and you see a random emoji. Oh. <laughs> but you go outside and you see a random animal, a deer. There's a lot of deer that live near me, so I'm always like, start, I just try to talk to them. Like, yo, what's up, deer? How's it going? You having a good like day? Please cool. talk to me. I'm so yeah. bored. I'm like, please, <laughs> Just talk to me. Someone, please talk to me. So, chat, help me out. Please talk to me. That's a good one. So, coming in at number six, and actually, this is a personal one for me, is I wonder if I'll get a drive-by party for my birthday. <laughs> so, first of all, drive-by party, that's, like, I never thought I would say anything close to that or even think of that. Like, what is that? So, last week was my birthday. Last Wednesday was my birthday, and this didn't happen, so I'm kind of disappointed. Like, everybody, I thought everybody was going to drive by my house. But um, basically, for people's birthdays, since you can't have a party, they've been driving by, friends have been driving up, and family to just sing happy birthday from the window or give gifts or something like that. They're having drive-by birthday parties. That's something, not only 2020, but just like ever you thought you would say. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's crazy. I sent you a gift and text on your birthday. Oh, you did? So you're welcome. Thanks, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I would have appreciated you driving by, but whatever. <laughs> All right, number five things you never thought you'd say in 2020. Did someone mute me? Someone mute me? You got me? I, mute, you got I, me? I can't hear you. Can you hear me? No, I can't yeah. hear you. Okay. I can see your lips moving, but I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> With all these Zoom meetings going on, it's just crazy. Uh, you know, you never thought, I've, that's like one of the top phrases I keep saying over and over again. Someone mute me? Am I there? Can you hear me? Hello? Uh, 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 yep. It just cuts out. That's yeah. number five. It always, you never know. It's, it's kind of crazy. And you have Zoom meetings all the time. Uh, coming in at number four is I cannot wait to go back to school. So I know some of you guys are maybe not at that point yet, but a lot of you have been saying, I am ready to do anything. I'll go back to school. Uh, I'll, I want to go to everything, every event possible. Um, but I cannot wait to get back to school. I'll even do homework right now if it just means I could be in school because you can't do anything right now. So it's like an extended summer, and in the summer you get bored, you're like, I got to go back to school. That's what we're saying. I cannot wait to go back to school. Yeah, I've been out Crazy. of school for like nine years, and I've been, I've been saying that. <laughs> Our number <laughs> three thing that you never thought you'd never say is, Put your mask on, we're going outside. <laughs> I mean, it is, it's, it's insane. We showed yeah. you last week, Josh and I, we got masks finally uh, for the grocery store. It's actually in some states, it's becoming a law. 
that you have to wear a mask if you're going to go out to even just go get like fast food mm -hmm. or to go pick up your groceries. So it's insane. We never would have thought we would be here saying, hey, we got to put our masks on Let's because we're going outside. It's crazy, yeah. Coming in at number two, and this one's personal to Christian, did you disinfect the Amazon package before you brought it in? Did you disinfect the Amazon package before you brought it in? Yeah. So basically, like anything that comes in the house, did you disinfect it before you brought it in? Nobody would have thought about saying that before now. Nobody would like squirt disinfectant or whatever, or Lysol on their stuff, their grocery bags, their Amazon packages. Yeah. And, I mean, have you gotten your Amazon package yet? What's, up, what's the update? <laughs> a little update. On with you? Uh, a couple of packages have come in, but then Ooh. one still hasn't. And I think I've f discovered that that's just like my new thing <laughs> that I'm like addicted to is just to like order stuff and like not know if I'm actually going to get it. So he loves we'll suspense. <laughs> yeah. And the last thing we thought we'd never say in 2020 is, are these my day pajamas or my <laughs> night pajamas? So we all have like specific clothing we like to wear when we go to sleep. But I don't know about you, Tanner. I've been wearing like the same shirt three or four days in a row because I'm not really doing not? anything. I'm not going out. I'm not sweating. You you're know, not, I'm not doing not anything, anything like that. I'm not sweating pickles or anything like yeah. that. So I don't, you know, it's just kind of, <laughs> why would I change a lot? So I know some of you have been lounging in your pajamas, you know, are these the day pajamas, the night pajamas? I don't, I, I don't know which one. Never thought know. you'd say that, right? <laughs> but Crazy. since you, know, you guys have been uh, still meeting, we've been seeing uh, you guys are up meeting through Zoom with your life groups. Please keep that up. That's awesome. We love the leaders. Thank you so much for uh, doing that, taking the initiative to meet, still meet with your life group. That's amazing. And uh, so speaking of amazing and Ooh. life group leaders, we yes. have two life group leaders that we are going to Skype in right now. They Skype are, it is Josh and Sydney Detweiler. They are right there on the TV. You guys should be able to see them. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to be that person. Can you hear me, guys? Yes, we can hear you. Can you hear us? Yes, we can I hear can you. hear you. Can you hear us? I can. Awesome. Corey, Thank you all like so much. Corey, can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, he Corey, can. Can you hear them? Say hi. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> Give it up for Josh and Cindy. Josh is our high school guys leader, and Cindy leads a middle school girls group. And so hopefully you guys have been having a good day so far today. And uh, we just wanted to catch up with you and just uh, ask you some questions. So first one is, hey, how has the quarantine impacted you? <laughs> it's been good. We've been spending <laughs> lots of time together. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been, it really has been good. Josh has been home because he's not teaching. And so that's been pretty cool. We've just been hanging out here and hiking a lot and cooking a lot and making fancy coffee. It's uh, just a good time. The frothy coffees. <laughs> Not teaching has been really weird, obviously. Like, cause I, I mean, and you know, Sydney's job is at home anyway, so it's not that big of a deal anyway, cause most of her stuff is online. But definitely, it has affected my whole life, cause every day I just don't go to <laughs> school. And we love church, and we're not at church, and so that's really, really disappointing and sad. I'm afraid Corey's gonna forget how to act in church, mm. you know? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, it's impacted everyone. We're all kind of feeling the same way. I bet that is weird. You go and teach every day, but then now you're not. So it's like kind of a weird transition there. Uh, what has been something that you guys have appreciated about this time through all of this? I learned how to make bread. Okay. <laughs> that has been really cool. There's, I mean, there's a whole lot of things that I've learned how to do, but like, I, I mean, every family is going to be different. Like our family, obviously we have this like small person right here. So like, <laughs> As as I have gotten to like just stay home all the time, I have obviously gotten to know him a lot better. And because he's so young, he's like building all of the like base functions of humans, like how to <laughs> move and looking at people and maintaining eye contact and just things that are like really fun to watch. But like I'm I'm just realizing that like I would have kind of, I would have kind of missed a lot of that. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm really thankful, kind of in a way, because I'm getting to really enjoy like. It's been great meeting him yeah. as a kid because I'm just here all the time. Sometimes it's actually terrible, but most of the time it's great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure it'd be cool to see those changes like daily, just constantly as he's growing, would be an, an awesome thing to experience. And uh, so this is for both of you. How have you and your students, or have you seen God work through this situation and in the lives of your students through your life groups? Well, my life, my life group has been meeting um, at five o'clock every Wednesday, and we've actually had a pretty good um, 
group being able to show up and I've been able to be emailing parents a little bit more than I had in the past and kind of just connecting with them a little bit more. So that's been one plus for me. And then for my students, I feel like they've been, I don't know, really trying to like own their faith. I've just been really, really proud of them. One of them, I'm going to give you a shout out, Mary Kate, if you're watching, she was actually able to share on our Zoom call tonight and kind of teach and share testimony to some of the girls. And that was just something really, really cool. And it was neat because, you know, sometimes in a group in public, you're a little bit more shy, but when you're, it's just you in your room, you're, you feel like you can open up a little bit more. So we, I just feel like we've been able to get to know people that we weren't getting to know before. And it's just been awesome. And I've been really proud of them and I love them all so much. So I love you sixth graders. <laughs> so for me, it's been like, uh, obviously we had those first couple of weeks where like nobody kind of knew it was your trade <laughs> teamwork. So anyway, um, we've had those first couple of weeks where we weren't really sure what was going on and, uh, and you know, how this was going to affect everything. But then like, once we figured out like, okay, cool, everything is just shut down and we're all stuck at home for the foreseeable future. Um, we got on a zoom call, uh, me and the guys actually right before this, uh, this particular, um, right before like the, 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 the second or third, yeah, yeah. live TRO. And I was like, Hey, uh, I guess we're going to just like meet here from now on. It's a TRO. Yeah, like not a TRO. It's a TRO live. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. (laughs) No, um, but anyway, we started we started meeting the hour before this happens. So like, uh, even just today, like an hour ago, I was uh, talking with my small group, and we were we're going through. Um, right now, um, I I have like senior guys, so we're talking through um, this devotional that if you have not read, you should go read. It's called uh, My Utmost for His Highest. It's like one of the most famous devotionals in the world. Um, but I noticed a lot of our dudes just like had never read through it and didn't know a bunch about it. So we just again have been kind of talking through that devotional. Um, but mostly it's just been interesting to see my dudes like at their houses because I see them all kind of isolated, sort of like what Sydney was saying. Um, but it's been really cool to see them telling me about, yeah, you know, I just have to babysit my siblings all the time. And then like, I have a, they have a camera and their siblings are just in the photo and like <laughs> unmuting their computer for them and everything. Being so crazy. it's just been really crazy, but it has been cool watching, um, watching us grow together, even in this kind of a weird situation. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely a, definitely a big adjustment we've all had to make. Um, but thank you guys so much for continuing to meet with your groups. We love you guys. Thank you. Uh, we cannot thank you enough for continuing to do this. Hopefully this will all blow over soon and we'll be able to all meet again together. We can see each other face to face and see Corey and get to hold and hug him as well. And so he says you should thank him with Grubhub. Okay. Maybe we'll see. <laughs> we, can, we can see what we can do, but uh, thank you guys. Hope you have a good, good evening. Bye. We love you guys. Bye. See you later. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, so we've also been telling you all to send us videos of what God's been teaching you during this time and for students and leaders as well. And so the first video we have for you comes from one of our middle school students. Uh, it's actually from Kaylee Bowman. So check out this video. Hi, I'm Kaylee, and I sing on the worship team in Power Source. And during all of this quarantine and being stuck at home, I have learned a lot. And one of the many things I have learned is that we need to stop pushing off reading God's word because we have all the time in the world and why not? What else are we gonna do? So I had dug into his word and I can't admit it's very hard just to sit there and to read, but it's actually very powerful at the same time because he speaks to us through the Bible. And one of the things he has told me is that he has a plan and a purpose for all of this. We don't know what it is and we don't know why, but he does. So we have to have faith and believe in him that he will fix all of this one day because we know he will. Wow, thank you, Kaylee. It is so awesome to hear what God is doing in our students' lives. We'd love to hear more from you guys, so stay connected with us. Um, but also, I've heard that it is Kaylee's birthday today. So everybody in the chat, all from here at uh, TR Students Live, we want to say happy birthday to Kaylee. Hope you have an awesome day today and an awesome rest of your night. Thank you for that video. So what we have here is something that's a little bit of revenge for me because we have here Christian on my right and Paul on my left. They're going to be playing a little game. So what it is is 
back in uh, February, we did episode, and I was put under the torture of eating a hot wing and then having to talk and give rules. So um, if you haven't seen the video that we showed an episode, check this out. That's a pretty good bite. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Whoa. I know. The <laughs> Holy cow! I know! It's so spicy! <laughs> so that was, a, that was a tidbit of uh, how destroyed I was, because I have no tolerance, like I said, for hot stuff. So I figured today, for our game, we are going to, I'm going to get a little bit of revenge on my guys here. So what we're going to be doing is uh, trivia questions, and what they're going to be doing is playing for a student. So. Christian is going to be playing for Grace, who is in the chat right now, Grace Stump. He's going to be playing. If he wins, you will get a Buffalo Wild Wings gift card at the end of this. And Paul is going to be playing for Ethan Geringer or Justice Man 77 So how it's going to work is they're going to be taking a bite of the hottest wing that Buffalo Wild Wings has. In fact, there's a little it's, red sticker, the blazing. It is blazing. so hot. It's, it is super, super, super it. hot. Here, just, like, you just, can, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah. You can smell how hot it is. It's ridiculous. They're going to be taking a bite from this, and I'm going to read them a trivia question, okay, that oh, they have to then answer. Uh, Chris is not very excited for this one, but it's revenge for me, so I love it. So, I, can't, I don't like hot stuff, so... And this is like my it? idea, so I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, can you see all the stuff that uh, Christian's got over here? He's got the uh, <laughs> milk, the lemons, uh, York patty. Paul's got Dr. Pepper, oh, uh, celery sticks, and all kinds of stuff. So I say we get started with Christian. Christian, would you like to take a bite of that first wing? I know you're a little anxious over there, <laughs> but I'm very excited. <laughs> there we go. He went right in for it. Okay, nice. We'll give it a second. <laughs> Woo! That seemed like it oh, kicked man. in right away. That was right away. That was not, <laughs> no. oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, I love this. Okay, uh, Christian, here's your first question. Which bone are, <laughs> which bone are babies born without? Do I don't get multiple choice? <laughs> nope. <laughs> you got it. You got it. Dude, it's you got so hot. Three seconds. Is it you, the, the uh, Pick a bone. Skull? I don't know. <laughs> they have no heads when they were born. No, it's like soft. Yeah, I know you're talking about that. the soft spot. It's actually their kneecaps. Oh, wow. Okay, <laughs> their kneecaps. They're born without kneecaps. That was a tough one, so no points for Christian. It's way hotter than that other one. Oh, good. Way hotter? It's All way right, hotter. Paul? <laughs> I like the reaction from Christian. This is this amazing. Is right. Let us know in the chat what you think because Just this keep is it, keep it off the lips. Yeah, keep it off the lips if yeah, possible. Oh, He's just, oh, that's a good bite, Paul. Oh, God. He's a brave man. Let's hear it for Paul in the chat. Mm. All right. Okay. 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 He's, he's, he's taking it okay. not as hard as Christian did. Okay. First question. What is a female <laughs> donkey called? I feel like this is a setup, but <laughs> what is uh. a female donkey called? <laughs> oh. Um I know you shouldn't even really know these. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Hey, Woo. Woo. I, I'm asking the questions here. What do you think? I have Give no me an idea. Answer. It is called a Jenny. <laughs> really? Hey, that, that, that is real. <laughs> so oh, shout wow. out to Jenny in the chat. Um, and she is I watching. I, do I don't know why. <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah, that it gives me is, this is like this lingering. Okay, like, they get no, a little no, bit no easier. Drink. Here we go. No drink. No drinks. Go. He's Just starting on the milk first. Okay. No drinks. Uh. I mean, I you, you can't. Uh, Paul, Paul's gonna. <laughs> he's I just gonna slam the hiccups is. over here. Okay, so Christian, <sighs> oh, I gotta take a bite. second bite. I don't need another bite. I know, but maybe you go <laughs> numb at some point. I don't know. I just know that it lingers for like 30, 45 minutes, maybe even a <laughs> week oh or two. Oh my gosh! Ah. Nice. Okay, Christian, what is the deadliest snake in the world? Some of you might know in the chat because you love snakes for some reason. It's rattlesnake. What is the deadliest snake in the world? <laughs> He's looking more the cobra. It is the I'll get the cobra. Okay, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't get your final answer, answer buzzer. It is the black mamba. Mm. So black no. is mamba. that is that a cobra? I'm assuming no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Paul, right. take your that bite. That one too bad. Should I, should I go to like a new one? Yeah, go that to one. a new one. Give us All a right. fresh wing. The first one was super that was super saucy. The other ones are like this one's this pretty Ooh, down here at the bottom. Okay. Oh, get him at the bottom where the sauce is all kind of Yes. Mm. Oh, he's getting some mm. good bikes. He's mm. getting some good bikes. All right, let's go. Cool. His, his eyes are getting watery too. Okay, question. <coughs> if a coffee bean is darker, what does that mean about its caffeine content? I mean, I would assume a darker coffee has more caffeine in it. So let's go more caffeine. He says more caffeine. 
It was a 50 50 uh, guess, and he got it wrong. What? It was, <laughs> For real? It's lower. No it's way. got lower caffeine. Okay. That's Ask hot. Landon in the chat. He knows he works uh, at no the way. news. Okay. Fake we're, news. We're right. going into it. Fake news, he says. Oh, wow. Well. Christian, how are yeah. you doing over there? Terrible. <laughs> I, the eyes are watering, they're getting red. This is amazing. Let's do a few more questions here. Bro, I don't. <laughs> are you, are you able to do bite? another bite? I you got it, right? right? You got it. He's starting to eat wings without being prompted. Okay, go ahead, Christian. Right, let's go. Nice job. These guys are these guys are brave men. These are way hotter than the wings that I ate, or the wing that I ate. Okay, go. Christian. Here's your question. What does each letter in CIA stand for? Central Intelligence Agency. Boom! Oh my God. Christian got it. Oh, Easy man. one. All right, Christian gets one point. Congratulations yeah, I mean. to the student. <laughs> <laughs> Paul right. is going I'm in trying, for. I'm Ethan, I'm trying. This is for you. This here is you for go. Ethan, okay? Grace, you have a point over mm. here. Mm. Okay. Right. Look. Oh man, he's just, he's cleaning the wings. Okay, where does the royal family live? Buckingham Palace. Boom, got it. That but is one okay. for each. All right. Okay, Ooh. Ethan, you're, you're in the game. Let's do a couple more. Christian, yeah. go in for Take that bite. bite. Oh, okay. man, it's getting hot. It's, it's ramping up. It's got, it's oh, it's yes. Just fingers. Paul's crying. You get <laughs> Paul is crying. I am laughing. And okay. Christian's about to cry. Okay. Okay, question. Name the largest ocean in the world. Oh. There's uh, only a few of them. It's <laughs> like, what, six, seven? Uh, <laughs> the Pacific? Yes, Christian. Nice job. Aren't there five? Five oceans? I don't know. I have no idea. Indian Atlantic. Let us know okay. in the chat because we have Woo! no idea how many oceans there are. Okay. okay. No, All right, Paul. Tough. All right, one more. You ready? Holy crap. Holy cow. Something. <laughs> <laughs> holy cow, holy cow, holy cow. I mean, it smells hot. Like my nostrils are burning just from here. Right, okay. Go. Question. Oh. Which country was the first to allow women voting? <laughs> <laughs> There's only 250 countries. We had, we had five oceans. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, I'm done. Uh oh. Um, yes, this is what we want. We love it. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Uh oh. The coughing's coming in. France. It is New Zealand. Uh, the next oh, yeah, obviously. Lord of the Rings. Oh, man. Some people knew that, so. Right. Okay, here we go. More? Last question. Last question. <sighs> One question each. Yeah, here we go. One question each. Boom. Okay. Uh, I can't even grab Christian. a wing right now. <laughs> right. They're shaking, they're going crazy. Go. Hey, I'm proud of you guys. This, you guys are doing an awesome job. Okay, Christian, how many U.S. states border the Gulf of Mexico? You gotta think. Uh, like uh, touch, border, like that. Correct. Touch. How many oh. border Mexico, the Gulf of Mexico? It's either three or two. I think it's, I'm gonna go three. It is three and two combined. <laughs> it is oh, five. five. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, I got a chance. So, here's, chance. this is, here we oh, go. Man. All right. Yeah, Lee. We can tell him. There you go, Paul. Uh. Uh -huh. Let's let's hear for these guys in the chat, okay? These guys are killing it. Did, did right. the women help? Okay, Hello. for the win for Ethan, okay? This will tie us, but I'll take it. Okay. Oh yeah, <laughs> it'll tie you, okay? <laughs> in which state was President Trump born? Oh, I mean, I had my first thought, but he's probably not born there. Gosh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> Always go with your gut. I think this is not right, but my gut says New York. That is correct. Hey. His gut is correct, even though it's getting destroyed by <sighs> hot wings. All right, we All have right, to do well, one more for a tiebreaker. We have to. All right, like first answer? Is that a thing? All right. Yes, let's do that. First well, answer. Just yell bite. it out. Okay, take your bite, gentlemen. Okay, ready? Yeah. How many days are there in a fortnight? Uh, it's, it's 14 days. 14 Jeez. is correct. Congratulations to Grace. <laughs> Congratulations to Grace. <laughs> If you want to reach Sorry. out to us on our Instagram, sorry, Ethan, we'll get you next time. Uh, congratulations to Grace. If you want to reach out on our Facebook or our Instagram, Living Proof VA, uh, hit us up in the DMs and we'll be getting that to you. So, congratulations to both you guys. You made it through. We. <laughs> <laughs> It was yeah, Christian's idea, and yeah. it was not a good one. But we have had some good ideas on the show, uh, like having Kaylee talk about what God has been doing in her life. So we have a video from Anna who's going to tell us what God has been doing in her life as well. Hey, guys. My name is Anna Jenkins, and I'm a senior at LCA. I just wanted to come on here really quick to tell you about something God has been teaching me in my life. So as I've been watching the news and hearing about people dying and even people saying that we could be coming close to the end times, God has just been teaching me that life is very short. And as I was reading my Bible this morning in Psalms 90 verse 12, it says, teach us to realize the brevity of life so that we may grow in wisdom. 
So as I've been realizing that life is so short, I need to start focusing on things that really matter in life, like spending time with my family. And a blessing of the coronavirus going on is that I get to spend a lot more time with my family than I would have if I were at school or playing soccer or things like that. So I get to um, focus on things that really matter now. And another thing that really matters is um, sharing the gospel. And God has convicted me of that recently because I've been making excuses because I'm stuck at home. I can't see people or things like that. But I have so many other ways I can share the gospel. So those are just ways that God has been challenging me and teaching me during this time. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us tonight on TR Students Live. Uh, we look forward to the day when we can all be together again. But until then, we're so thankful for opportunities like this we have to get, gather together here online. So this past weekend, my family and I were supposed to travel to Disney World where I was going to run the Star Wars half marathon. But obviously Disney World's closed right now and the race got canceled, so it didn't happen. Uh, but I still wanted to do something to make up for it. And so this past weekend, I went out and I ran a half marathon by myself. And to make myself feel like I was actually there at Disney World, I actually listened to a playlist of songs from different Disney movie classics. Uh, even though normally when I run, I, I don't listen to music, but I really wanted to so I could feel like I was actually there. Now, uh, a playlist, as you know, is just a collection of songs from different artists, maybe different styles, from different eras that uh, are organized around a certain mood, activity, event, or theme. And so maybe if you frequent the gym and you work out, maybe you have a workout playlist that gets you hyped up and energized to push through your workout. If you've ever been on a road trip, maybe you've put together a playlist of songs with some feel-good vibes to get you excited about getting away. Uh, if you ever want to focus on the Lord and just kind of drown out the noise and stress in life, maybe uh, you listen to a, a playlist of worship music. Uh, and there's pretty much playlists for just about anything. Uh, I recently stumbled across this playlist called Knitting Party, and I was curious as to what exactly uh, people listen to when they're at a knitting party, and I was uh, surprised to find You Need to Calm Down by Taylor Swift on this playlist, and it just made me wonder, what is it that people at a knitting party need to calm down from? Are they, like, stabbing each other with knitting needles or something? Uh, I don't know. It just doesn't seem to fit for me. But there's one really popular playlist that hopefully you haven't needed just yet called a breakup playlist. And a breakup playlist is a collection of songs that people listen to when they're going through a breakup and they're typically sad songs. And my understanding is that uh, no breakup playlist is complete without some songs from Adele on it. If you don't know who that is, she's this Grammy, Grammy Award winning artist uh, with this amazing powerful voice and she's known as the queen of heartbreak. Now, the reason why she's known as that is not just because of the lyrics of her song. There's actually something about her voice that evokes uh, feelings of sadness when people listen to her music. And so a few years ago, there was this article in, in the Wall Street Journal where they actually analyzed all of her songs and uh, they discovered that uh, there's this kind of slight modulation in her voice that creates tension in the notes that makes people feel sad when they listen to her music. And so basically what that means is that scientifically speaking, she's like the saddest artist of all time. Uh, but I share that with you guys because there's this collection of sad songs uh, in the book of Psalms called laments. And the word lament literally means protest or complaint. And in these Psalms of lament, uh, we see the writers complain to God about God uh, about the events in their lives, about their enemies. Uh, they take all of the pain and all the sadness they're experiencing and they direct it onto God. But as they do, we see a major transformation take place in their heart. And there's one Psalm of Lament I'd like to look at with you tonight uh, because I think we might be able to identify with, with the complaints the writer has uh, given everything that we're going through in this crazy time right now. And so it's Psalm 13, it's a Psalm of David, and this is what it says. How long, Lord, will you forget me? Or how long, Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I wrestle with my thoughts and day after day have sorrow in my heart? How long will my enemy triumph over me? Look on me and answer, Lord, my God. Now, the enemy that David had at this time in his life was King Saul. Uh, David was anointed to be the next king of Israel when he was 17. 
but he never took the throne until the age of 30. And so for much of those 13 years, David was hunted down by Saul. And most scholars think that he wrote this psalm while he was hiding in a cave, trying to stay away from Saul and his army. And in this moment, David's frustrated. He's like, how long, Lord? How long will you forget me? Uh, Today, we might say, God, why are you ghosting me? Like I'm texting you and you're not texting me back. I'm calling you and you're not calling me back. There's no answer there. And David goes on to say, give light to my eyes or I will sleep in death. And my enemy will say, I have overcome him. And my foes will rejoice when I fall. David's like, God, just give light to my eyes. Help me to understand what's going on here. Help me to understand why Saul is still on the throne and I'm out here hiding in the desert. Help me understand what you're up to because I don't get it. You said I was gonna do something great. You said that you had this amazing plan for my life, but I'm not seeing it. David's frustrated, he's confused. Uh, His life's not working out the way that he expected it it would. It seems like he's moving in the opposite direction of what he thought. But I want you to see how he ends this Psalm of Lament because there's a truth here that I think we really need to understand, especially in this time. He says, but I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing the Lord's praise for he has been good to me. And so there's a drastic turn there, right? In verses one through four, David's like, where are you, Lord? You forgot about me, you've abandoned me. And here at the end, he's like, I trust in your unfailing love. I rejoice in your salvation. I will sing praises for you are good. Like what a major mood swing, right? But this is actually a common rhythm that we see in the Psalms of Lament. They all move from a place of protest to a place of praise. They all start with these honest complaints, but they end in words of praise. And why is that? Well, something transformative happens when we bring our complaints before the Lord, when we're willing to bear our soul and be honest with the Lord about what it is that's going on in our heart and our lives. We're reminded of who it is that we're praying to. We're reminded that God is big enough to handle whatever it is that we face. We're reminded of how faithful he's been to us in the past. We're reminded of how good he is. We're reminded that even though we don't know how things are gonna work out, that we can trust in God. And I think that's what moved David from a place of protest to a place of praise. He didn't know how it was all gonna play out. He didn't know how God was gonna fulfill his promises to him. But he knew that God's love was unfailing. He could see it all around him. He knew how faithful and loyal God had been to him. He knew how, how he could trust God, even in the midst of the waiting. He understood this important truth. He understood that we don't worship because our circumstances are good. We worship because our God is good. And so if you're watching tonight and and your complaint is the same as David's, how long, oh Lord? How long until all of this is gonna be over? How long until I can leave my house again? How long until I can play competitive soccer again? How long until I can meet my friends at La Coretta and we can share a basket of chips and salsa together again? That's what I'm asking. And, you know, but maybe you're asking, you know, how long until I can get out and take the SAT so I can find out if I'm going to be able to go to college? How long until my loved one is going to be healed? How long until my prayer is going to be answered? If you're asking that tonight, I pray that you would bring those complaints and those questions to God. And I pray that as you do, that he would move you from a place of protest to a place of praise. I pray that he would help you to recognize that when we're willing to bring all those questions and all those complaints and all that frustration to the Lord and we give it to him, it actually opens up space in our lives to receive more of him. And so right now we're gonna move into a time of worship. And as we do, I wanna invite you to let your mouth lead your heart. Speak these truths. Remember that God is never going to leave you. Remember that he is with you no matter how far away he might feel. Choose to praise him even in the midst of the protest because our motivation for worship has never been about how good our circumstances are. It's always been about how good our God is. So our question tonight is simple for you. 
Have you cried out to the Lord during this season? Have you cried out to the Lord this week? Whether it's a cry of lament or a cry of praise. Well, tonight as we sing this song that we all know together, my hope is that we would choose to praise tonight. That we would choose to cry out this song of praise, knowing that the God we serve is good and knowing this truth. Let's sing this together. I count on one thing, the same God that never fails will not fail me now. You won't fail me now in the waiting. The same God who's never late is working all things out. Awesome. Thank you for that word, Jeremy, and thank you for that time of worship, Landon. A lot of you guys were saying in the chat that you love that song. We definitely love that song, too. Um, so we have got a lot to end with, some cool stuff, some giveaways. I want to check on Christian. Looks like he's having a hard time. Is everything okay over there? <laughs> He'll keep that lemon in his mouth for just a little bit. Um, but you guys have been blowing up the chat. You guys have been doing the hashtag TRS Live. So what we are going to do is we have picked our winner but this week, like Christian said, we are starting something new, something cool, something fresh. We have a wheel that we're going to spin to see what prize our winner is going to get. So first, let's see who our winner is for the hashtag TRS Live. Emily let's, let's, Dunnick. Emily Dunnick got Woo! the hashtag TRS Live. I'm okay, guys. I'm, I'm back. Good. It's been stinging around the lips a lot, uh, but sure. I, I am back. <clears throat> Emily Dunnick, good job. So let's see the wheel prizes. Let's, let's let let's them know what we got. We got Fandango. Disney Plus. R a Roku stick. You can win Ooh, Amazon, cool. Amazon gift Uber card, Eats. Uber Eats, or pizza. Pizza. So those are your options. Out. Yeah. Let's spin the wheel. See what you get. Spin it. Ding. 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 It's gonna, yeah. Fandango, Fandango gift card. So you can actually, you can rent movies on there. You can rent movies that are in theaters right now, or supposed to be in theaters yeah. right now. They're not because we can't go there. Because there are no theaters. But you can rent those movies and watch them with your family. So take advantage of that. Congratulations, Emily. 
Yes, so DM us at Living Proof VA, uh, Instagram or the Facebook, um, but DM us and we'll make sure to get that to you this week. Um, so we have another prize that we need to give away as well, right? Yes, there's the Emoji Race emoji. winner, and that is, if you guys were able to figure it out, it is caught, because the fish caught. got caught, in. in the middle, or yeah. no, sorry, caught in a pickle, not in the middle. The, the middle pickle's in the middle, middle though. <laughs> it the is. pickle's in the middle. Caught in a pickle caught is what pickle. I wanted to say. <laughs> so caught in a pickle, let's see who was the first one to so that Anna Jenkins, so she no sent a video into us. And uh, yeah, great. congratulations, Anna. So we're gonna spin the wheel yes. of prizes. See what you get, Anna. Mm -hmm. What is it gonna be? Is it gonna be the Amazon, the Uber, the pizza, the Uber, the Amazon? It looks like it's Amazon. Congratulations, Anna. Again, DM us at Living Proof VA, Instagram, or Facebook, and we will be getting you that. Um, Amazon gift card. So congratulations on that. So thank you so much for joining us tonight on TR Students yes, Live. Thank you guys. But we want to stay connected with you. We have a lot of ways to stay connected. So the first thing, just like Landon did before, he's going to be doing weekend worship this Saturday night. But instead of 7 p.m., we're going to move it to 8.30 p.m. because nobody's getting up early anyway. <laughs> so 8.30 <laughs> p.m., um, you can catch him doing weekend worship live on Instagram, 8.30 p.m. this Saturday uh, at Power Source VA or Living Proof VA. He'll be going live, landing with that weekend worship. What else we got, Christian? That's right. He will be going live. <laughs> You're right. The lemon does help a lot. Doesn't it? It's crazy. Really, I take it over the mill. Yeah, for sure. We've been doing a gaming stream uh, yes. the past couple of weeks. Uh, Tanner did Rocket League last week. Yes. I did Fortnite. Well, Tanner wanted to take the reins again. He had so much fun. So this much fun. Fr <laughs> this Friday. <laughs> That was the lemon juice. <laughs> this Friday from 6 to 8, again, he's going to be playing Apex Legends. So if you guys have Apex on Xbox. Yes, okay, on Xbox. We'll make that. He plays on Xbox. And you'll be able to hear me this time. I got it figured out. It was <laughs> something weird. <laughs> he's going to figure that. out all the technical issues and going to get it going. Uh, but yeah, so if you want to join him in some trios, catch some dubs. Get some Evo shields or whatever. Yeah. Whatever they got. I haven't played it in a all. while, so I don't know what they got now. But. It's going to be awesome. This Friday at 6 p.m., jump in on here. So if you haven't already, subscribe to this YouTube channel, TR Students. We're going to have lots of stuff coming out as well. So um, speaking of what we've got going on, you make sure that you're following us on our Instagrams, um, Living Proof and Power Source, because we have on Sunday mornings, we have our services that are coming out. We've got uh, Storyteller, which is our high school series. And then we have uh, Worth Repeating. That's going to be our middle school series. It's coming out on Sunday. But something cool that we're doing that I absolutely love is the YouVersion app, the Bible app, which is completely free. If you download that, and when you go and you search, you can search Worth Repeating or Storyteller in the plan section of the app and you'll see a devotional on stories and principles that Jesus told. So we have devotions that'll be coming out that tie into our Sunday series as well. So make sure you check that out on the YouVersion, the Bible app. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sucking on that lemon. <laughs> yep, and like, uh, like Tana said earlier, make sure you follow us on our social medias. Power Source VA oh, for, uh, oh. for middle school, if you're in middle school, Living Proof VA, if you're in high school, make sure you check back with us next week for our next stream for TR Students Live. We love you guys. We miss you. Hopefully, we'll be able to meet soon. Thank you so much for checking us out. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. See ya. Woo!